Hello, welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you for joining me for today's show. Uh, my apologies, it's actually been a week since I've done an episode of the Daily Bible. Um, had a little throat issue there. Uh, my apologies. Um, so we'll get going from now on. Tis the season for those sickness, especially if you have kids. You know, they bring those germs home, you know. But today we're going to continue on in Matthew chapter 18. We're going to look at verses 13 through 14. So Matthew chapter 18, verses 13 through 14 say, And if he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of my Father, who is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Now just as a reminder, uh, we're talking about the parable of the lost sheep here. And pretty much how that parable goes is, there's a shepherd and a herd of sheep, and one is lost, and the shepherd goes, leaves the ninety-nine who are not lost, and goes, fi- goes and finds the one. This is what this passage today is also describing. How our Heavenly Father rejoices, the angels rejoice, all of heaven rejoices over that person who was lost, but is now found. So let's just remind ourselves of what happens to a sheep if they're lost. You see, when you have a sheep and the sheep is lost, he's subject to being devoured, killed by wolves and other animals. You see, as people, if we're lost, we'll be devoured by Satan and his demons. So we are to rejoice. We're to be happy when someone comes to the knowledge of God. When they come to grace, when they receive mercy and forgiveness, let's rejoice, let's be glad, let's welcome them, let's love them. That's what this passage today is describing. That's what this verse today, this is what these verses are describing today. God is thrilled when someone comes to him. Not because he is egotistical and wants the attention, but because he loves us and he wants us to be with him. Now, in our own lives, they may need to hear that word of mercy, that word of grace, hear the gospel from us. So let's not be afraid to share it. Let's not be afraid to share it. That's my challenge for us us today. Let's not be afraid to share it. So they can come to that knowledge and not be lost. And not be at risk from being devoured from the powers of Satan and his demons. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Daily Bible Podcast. um, God bless you. Again, my apologies for there being such a big leg between shows there. My throat feels a lot better. Um, God bless you. Have a great day.